Now it's time to set up your system. And we're gonna start with the account settings. So please click on the account settings button under system settings, and this is the page you'll be taken to. Now to start, I want you to notice that the current password, password, and confirm password, these fields are gonna be blank. You already have this information. I hope you've written it down because you're gonna need it every time you get into the system. The only time it's necessary here is if you wanna change your password or if you wanna change the notification email address or the notification telephone number. So let me start with the notification email address. This is the email where all of the correspondence from the system is going to go to. So for example, if you send a review request out and someone provides a review or feedback or a testimonial, that information is going to be sent to this email address. So it's really important that the person that's running the system uh, has access to this email and that this email address works. Now, if down, and the other thing is you can only put one email in here. You can't put two emails. So it's gonna have to be an email that um, multiple people can get to if that's what you want, or that you can get to regularly. If you wanna change this, feel free to do it down the line, and then all you would have to do is put in your password and it's, it's no big deal. The notification telephone number is really for our benefit, so that if we need to get a hold of the person running this program on your behalf, we at least know how to call them if we can't get through via email. And finally is your time zone. It's defaulted to the Hawaiian Aleutian Standard Time. So all you have to do is click on this, pick your time zone, and once you've made those changes, click on Save. Okay. In the next video, we're going to go through the business information settings.